Hello there, Chuck. And in this second video, I'm going to try to show a little bit more of what this uh, Instant Road NUI script can do. First, I'm going to use the uh, Simplify Outline tool. It's good for making a lower polygon road surface. As you can see here, I simplified by about 40%. I'm going to erase the original. Might be one that maybe I got from a CAD file that has too many breaks in it. And there's a takeoff. Okay, so here's my road. Next I'm going to put some striping on it. Not opening the group, keeping it closed. I'm just going to draw a line outside the group along the center line of the road, hitting the midpoints, put it into a group. I'm going to select the road and that group and pull up the icon for striping. I want to put some materials on it. I've already loaded some materials in the drawing. Now what this does is makes a tape on top of the road. It's, uh, it doesn't merge with the road surface so that way I can erase part of it without affecting the road and I could extend it draw more striping yep, kinda missed but close enough for now can also make some parking lot striping here Gonna do a little bit of it. There's my stripes. Now for a handicap symbol. Could also draw my own symbol and make a decal, but here I'm using a preset, pre made symbol. Now similar to the uh, uh, road from center line connecting connection, I can also connect using a face. So here I've already made a, a face that's floating above the terrain. I'm going to pick a preset. Going to unhide the road again. I always have to hide the road when you use this method. And as you can see, the connection is made. I'm going to adjust this road height a bit. I could also just pick one side of the road and make a banked road. And lower the other side. As you can see it has a side a cross slope to it. Now I've got to smooth it. It's got a bunch of bumps in it. see what the road smoothing tool does it smooths out all the 
bumps. Okay, now I'm going to use, set the road elevations using the text tool. If I point to a portion of the road and call out uh, a height in the units, whatever units, metric or architecture or whatever, I've got to select all those text callouts. And the group and the terrain and the parameter setting is going to be the don't drop to terrain. I have a preset that already has that um, as part of it. And as you can see now, it's uh, it's not following the terrain. It's following these elevations. I'm going to check that out. This should be it. 71, that's correct. This would be about 105. What I'm going to show now is uh, pretty much identical to how Instant Road, my previous version of Instant Road, worked. I'm going to make level endpoints on this. Difference being, I'm going to add some projected materials. Project the material onto a road. Going to put something on the shoulder and I'm going to align some brick across the uh, sidewalk. So you can see the texture is all aligned. It's not getting all broken up at the road brakes. And now one more uh, uh, demonstration is the uh, Islander median. Again, this is just like uh, instant road, the previous versions. except that I have presets and such. And I can do the same thing with materials. And I see the bricks are all aligned. Thanks for watching.